Tomorrow, it's all on right triangles. Hill Sass, 3060, 4545, and of course, Pythag. All right. I just want to make sure we're good on we haven't gone over Hill Sass in a couple days, so I want to make sure we're good there. All right. So let's take a look at that first review problem. A lot going on. And it's going to be a difficult one right off the bat. You got airport, factory, shopping center. A, A for the airport, F for factory, S for the shopping center. Uh, it's a right triangle. Yep, great. The airport and the factory are 6.0 miles apart. So airport, factory, 6.0 miles apart. Their distances from the shopping center are 3.6 and 4.8 miles, respectively. All right, so from the airport to the shopping center is 3.6, because when it says respectively, whatever came first goes first. And 4.8 is to the factory from the shopping center. And it looks like we got a service road from the shopping center to the highway that connects the airport and the factory. So this little bad boy right here. What's the shortest possible length for the service road? All right, so we're trying to find the length of the service road. All right, tomorrow we approach this. Uh, is this gonna be anything where you add in a 45 or a 30 or a 60? Absolutely not, do not try to add it in. Oh, it looks like this. If you find yourself saying that tomorrow, stop it. All right, put that to rest. Uh, what type of triangle is ASF? It's a right triangle. The service road is a what? Is an altitude, forms a right angle, drawn to the hypotenuse automatically. I know this is a Hills or SAS problem right now. Okay, just on what I'm given in the diagram. It's a right triangle with an altitude drawn to the hypotenuse. Also, I say Hills, SAS, but I should also put a slash and say maybe Pythag too. Keep that in the back of your mind because you have three right triangles here. All right, well, let's get to work here. What's the, you guys told me the service road was an altitude, so I'm thinking maybe I use SAS right away, but there's a problem. I don't know the segments. I, I know what they add up to, but I don't know the segments. And I'm not going to start calling this Y, Z, X. Or I don't know that. All right, so uh, SAS for the moment is out of there. All right, it's out of there. How about Pythag? Uh, I don't think Pythag is going to work either because missing side, missing side, Pythag's out. So really, the only thing that's going to get me kick-started possibly is going to be hills. And if you start thinking about hills and how that could get me started, it's not going to get me to the finish line right away, but to get me started, ready? Do you know the hypotenuse? Okay, do you know one of the legs? Oh, it could find me one of the segments which was kill, kicking me out of using SAS. Bless you. All right, the reason I couldn't use SAS was because I didn't use, I didn't know any of the segments, but I could use hills to get there. All right, so let's roll with somebody right now. Uh, here you go, 14, hypotenuse length, six, leg, and in this case, you're not gonna be wrong. 36, well, I guess, never mind. 3.6. What do you know about the legs and hills? Same, because of the means. Means are always the same in these. And then the segment, I wouldn't put X because I already labeled the altitude that, so I'll just put a Y there. Everyone see our approach now. That'll get me one of the segments, which will hopefully get me the second segment. When you're ready, uh, four, when you're ready, let me know one of the segment lengths. Um, so the one I'm oh, 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 how about the one I'm doing right now? Oh. Okay, you use 4.8 instead. Um, 2.16, I like it. 
Okay, so 2.16, which leads me, everyone, to the other segment. Will be 6 minus 2.16. And Emma, what's that again? What's the other segment length? That's what I was asking. 3.84, yep. So I have 3.84 and I have 2.16 now. We okay? Now what can I use to find the altitude length? 29, what can I now break out? Okay, I could do Pythag. He's right. That's fine. I could do Pythag. I could also use what here? SAS or Pythag. Both of them acceptable. If I went SAS, I'm just going to keep quizzing you here. Uh, 23, if I went SAS, what's a segment I want to plug in? Altitude. Altitude. And segment. Good. They're all different. All different. No matter if you did Pythag, no matter if you did SAS, we're still going to, we should still come out. What do we ask? Nearest 10th? 100th? Woo, all right. When you're ready, let me know. Nearest hundredth. I don't even need rounding directions. Six, what do you, whenever you're ready. 2.88 miles for the service road. We okay there? Because maybe tomorrow, some of these problems, it's not just set up a hills and you're done or a sass and you're done. You might have to, in this case, look, we had to use both or maybe a Pythag thrown in there too to get started. Questions? And yes, hey, I don't think this should be a shock tomorrow. Simplest radical form, might have to factor or use quadratic formula. At this point in the year, I don't think that should be a shock. Okay, so be prepared for that tomorrow. All right, you might have to do both one or the other. Uh, one more I wanted to do, and that is uh, number five, and then I'll let you go on your own. Two reasons to do this one. One reason being uh, it's going to involve a 30, 60, or 45, 45, so I wanted to review that with you. And also that if you take a look, this regular hexagon is placed, yes, snugly snugly inside the rectangular box, okay? No moving around, snugly, all right? That word alone just makes the problem. Well, actually, there would be a better way to make the problem, but he'll make an appearance tomorrow in the quiz. All right. All right. Okay, if the length... If the side length of the hexagon is three inches, and it's regular, meaning all of them are three, so it doesn't matter where we put that three, what are the dimensions of the rectangular box? So what's the height and the, the height, the length and the width of the rectangular box? All right, well, we know it's a rectangular box, so what's in the corners? We can start with right angles in the corners. Oh, I got right triangles. Everyone see those? And the hypotenuse of each right triangle is three. Yep. Can we get any more specific, maybe? Because maybe it's a 30-60, maybe a 45-45. But mathematically, I need to show that. Hello, Orion. Remember that formula? Yeah, 180 times n minus 2. How many degrees are in this hexagon? 700 and 20. How many angle, interior angles does it have? Hexagon, six. So if you divide that by six, what's each interior angle? 100 and 20. How's that help me? Well, take a look. This interior angle, meaning 
there we go. That's 120 right there. This interior angle is 120. How's that going to help me? What's next to it? What's next to it? 60 degrees. They're linear pairs, right? So do we see that? I got a 60 and a 30 going here. Do we see that? Oh boy. All right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just draw this bad boy out so we know what we're working with here. So I got a 60 here, a 30 up here, and a three on the hypotenuse. Can you help me get to the other sides? Knowing your 30, 60, 90 rules, whether you use the chart or you don't use the chart. Uh, 15. Here we go. 15. What's got to be across from the 30 then? One and a half, yes, sir. And how about across from the 60 now? 24, what's across from the 60? Jeremy? You got it, 1.5, radical three. Everyone's good there? So let's see, I got a 1.5 here. I got a 1.5 radical three here. So across from all the 60s are 1.5 radical three. And across from the 30s are 1.5. All right, Meg? What's going on, you all right? Everyone all right with what we're doing? Because we got to find the dimensions now, which is a little bit not as easy as it looks, but. All right, dimensions, length times width. Take a look again. This length by this width. Here we go. 21, you're up first. How about this length right here? Three radical three, yep. So three radical three by... Need the one down here now. Need this one down here. Uh, 21 again. Six. So three radical three by six for the dimensions. That would be the perimeter. You added them all up. Anything else? All right, I'm just going to come browse uh, what you're doing on your paper here. The I'd like you to have a Chromebook open somewhere in your group to see the answer key to this. The answer key is uh, on Aspen under the homework page, all right, under the homework folder. All right, let's get it up. If you finish all these problems, go on to the textbook. Everyone see textbook problems to try up above. All right, I'll go over any questions before the quiz tomorrow. And I'll be here tomorrow, at, today after school.